So we've got all that uh, to look forward to, but right now we're going to take a look back at some of this week's big news stories. And to help us do it, we've been joined by the editor of Ireland's top entertainment magazine, Big Buzz. It's Barry O'Kane. I don't hate Robin Elliot. So what's caught your eye in the newspapers this week? Well, the demise of the long-running Top of the Pops. And do you remember the very first one? I do, actually, yes. Oh, cheeky get no, I don't. <laughs> Um, no, but I remember it when it was in the old black and white days. Yeah. That's how long ago I remember watching Top of the Pops. But I've um, been going for 42 years now. So 1964 yeah. started two years before I was. No, two years after. Yeah, it was two years of age. Right, okay. So it was. So I still, I still can't remember it, but. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, uh, it was one of the longest running sort of pop music shows. Yeah. So it's uh, no longer with us. Indeed, of course, it, it, was the, it started people's careers as well. If you appeared on Top of the Pops, you were guaranteed of an audience of millions back then. Oh, God, yeah, right up until maybe about four years ago. Yeah. Um, I think what's happened to Top of the Pops, and there's been quite a few other shows that went sort of down the tubes, um, is, you know, your MTV music shows, and, you know, if you flick on to your cable TV nowadays, yeah. you know, there's half a dozen, if not more, yeah. music shows from R&B to pop to you name it, yes. country and western, it's all there. So I think that's one of the reasons why Top of the Pops is no longer with us. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned MTV there, you had the pleasure of going to the MTV Awards one year, didn't you? Oh, yeah, three years. I've actually went to the MTV Awards. Um, yeah, quite an experience, quite an experience. Um, I was as far away from Madonna as you are to me now. Yeah. Um, and we had Prodigy, who actually threw all their beer overs, <laughs> all, the, all the press there. They were going to get lynched. That was in Milan right. that year. Um, so, yeah, it was quite, a, quite an experience. All right. Dublin, I was invited to the Dublin one, but just couldn't find how to get to the venue. <laughs> <laughs> just got lost. You just found a, a bar on the way and decided I to did. stop off there. Well, we did do that, but Dublin is such a hateful place to drive through. Yeah. Um, so we didn't actually get to it. We watched it on TV and thought right. it was quite good. <laughs> So it is. Now, Big Buzz magazine's still going strong after about 13 years, isn't it? Yes, and I've every grey hair to show for it. <laughs> so I do. Yes, going very strong. Um, hard to believe, 13 years, but yeah, 13 years. All right, and many big stars have graced the pages of the magazine in that uh, time as well, haven't they? God, far too many to, to remember. Um, we've had them all. Yeah. We've had them all. We've got a, we've got a filing cabinet uh, in the office um, with celebs with Buzz magazine. And I think we're up to something like 840, right. 850. Um, and they're not fakes. They're proper photographs of the Holton Buzz magazine. <laughs> and that was all down to uh, our Nick. Yes, Nick He was Douglas, a yeah. journalist in LA who's sadly no longer with us. All right, so we'll talk about the Big Buzz Awards in uh, just a minute, but we'll get back to the newspapers. Uh, Big Brother, once again, dominating all the papers this week. Why? What is it all about? I just don't know. You know, <laughs> you've got psychopaths. <laughs> they get picked up off the street and put into a, a, a house and they run about like loony bins. You know, it's for, it's for 10 minutes of fame. That's all it is, 10 minutes of fame. You know, I watched it, I have to say to you, I watched it for the first time last night yeah. and I couldn't believe it. Like my daughter and her friends are all hooked on this yeah. here show. And see the language. There's one chap with uh, t Tourette's. Tourette's. Yeah. Tourette's. Yeah. Tourette's. But you can't no, help. No, he's okay. He's a nice enough lad. But at the same time, like my daughter's what, 11 years of age? And I heard all this years me like turn that bloody well off. <laughs> and she was caught, she was actually mentioning some of the words. Yes, yeah. And I'm going, here's me, no way. Absolutely no way. And it's not a matter of being a bad parent and you know, well you shouldn't let your daughter watch these shows. Yeah. How can you not? It's all over the place, it's in the papers, it's everything. It's uh, you left the toilet roll and <laughs> all you know what I mean? So I don't know. It's sad because I don't know what state they get into in in the Big Brother. But, you know, they have to come out and face the real world again. And, you know, uh, for the kind of reaction that some of them, you know, come across on TV, I'd be highly embarrassed. You know, so I was sitting back in years to come and my children were watching that there. And I just think, you know, number one, Nikki out, definitely. She should be voted out. Shouldn't be allowed in the place. Well, Nikki's friends and family as well have been speaking to the press this week about uh, what she planned to do if she did get continually voted every week. And uh, she said she would actually get herself put out of the house. She would strip, she would flash, she would have sex, <coughs> everything. Yeah, again, it's the money. It's the money. And it's, you know, if you look at it, um, the girl from here, uh, 
Orla, yeah. you know, she flexed her on, on Big Brother and she's, she's probably going to earn a million for it. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. And it's just catching that right thing at the yes. right time. And, you know, you've got, you know, speaking to a nightclub owner today, um, Terry at Pepe is up in Derry, and every one of them that's brought out of the show, he's bringing them over. Yeah. He's packing his place. Yeah. You know, he's getting 700 people in the club for each one of them. But again, it's, it's you know, it's for uh, 10 minutes. That's, you know, that fame's 10 minutes. The, you know, this time in two months, you'll not even know them. Exactly. Yeah. You, you'd walk past them in the street. So, you know, I don't blame people in that situation where they are on a, a, a show like that. They're opening up to everything, and sometimes we've got too much. Yeah. And if they can make a few quid out of it, so what? Let yeah. them make a few quid out of it. But, you know, I don't really want them sitting down with dinner with me. Anyway, Definitely. talk about Big Buzz Awards now. It's that time of year again. And um, I can't believe it's seven years now. This is the seven con. I can't believe that neither. <laughs> I, remember when it was, I remember when it was a tent in the Lansdowne oh, Hotel. Was it a tent? <laughs> My God, you think it was something to put out there? It was a marquee, Robin. <laughs> you know what I mean? It held 300 people. You know, the awards are popular simply because it's the people vote. Yeah. You know, and any, any celeb or anybody who's won an award, a buzzing award, will go, you know, it's credibility, which counts. And these kind of things, you know, it's not a panel of judges who go into a wee room, sit there and go, well, if they're going to be there, we'll give them an award. Yeah. Or, you know, I like her. You know, she yes, smiled yeah. at me. Um, let's give her an award. You know, this is down to the, the public and the public vote for the awards. Last year, we got over 200,000 votes for the, for the awards. That's a lot of votes for Northern Ireland, mm -hmm. you know. And that's just running up maybe about three or four months to the awards. But as I say, you know, we have people phoning us now. And I'm, I'm sure you remember the days when we were sitting there Email and everybody. Yes, yeah. Bob Gelb, off the lot. <laughs> Robbie Williams, will you please come? You know, but you know, um, and now they're funding us. Yeah. You know, they're funding us and saying, listen, I've heard so much about the awards. It's such a great night. The, the crack's brilliant. Yeah. Um, you know, can I come over? And is there a chance of me presenting an award? But even if you can't let me present, can I be there? Yes, yeah. And you know, that's 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 the, the great growth of the Buzz Awards. Um, seven years, yeah. But we we do a lot of uh, things with young and up and coming talent. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got Sons of Jim playing this year, we've got um, Trinity who's playing this year, uh, Ben Glover and the Earls who are playing this year, um, we've got Gimmick yeah. who are coming back this year, absolutely cracking band, we've got Four Story yeah. who were up for the Eurovision there, um, Kieran, Kieran Goss, Goss, this year. Goss is coming this year, and of course Peter Kuna. Peter Kuna is coming over, uh, yeah we're taking Peter and the band over and uh, he still is going to be singing. Things can, lovely only song. Things can only get better. Indeed. Yes. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this year. Um, and again, what we're actually, there's uh, a new thing which we've added to this year. We always like helping charities out, mm -hmm. as Buzz Magazine always does. So this year, we have uh, 12, well, it's not normally called 11 a side, but this is 20 celebrities coming over um, from Coronation Street, Hollyoaks, Holby City, um, who are going to be playing local business people. Um, from Derry um, at Brandywell. So we're trying to raise as much money as we can for that. So there's going to be too many bloody celebs this year <laughs> <laughs> where we're crying out for them years ago. You know, we have to say no now. Yeah. You know, we really do because, you know, we just can't. The, you know, we're doing it in the Millennium Forum and there's just not the space. You know, the place yeah. is bunged this year again. All right, so we're back up in Derry the 26th of August, Saturday 26th, the 26th yep. of August. Yep up in the Millennium Forum, and uh, they can vote now. They can vote for their favourite radio presenters, TV presenters, TV presenters. bands, the lot. Yep, www.bigbuzzireland.com. There we go. Very simple. Just like that. Go on, all the categories are there, do your voting. Um, and who knows, your favourite will probably pick up a gong in the night. Who knows? You know, just remember the categories, the radio presenter categories, and vote for your favourite radio and don't TV don't vote presenter. for Robin Elliott. <laughs> So anyway, no, but it's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> so you're going to hang around for the famous quiz at the end of the show. The last quiz actually in this very studio. Um, as long as it's not too difficult. It won't be. It'll be fine. No? It'll be fine. Can I see the questions? No. 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 Just, it's a bit easy, trust me. Be oh, easy. Okay. Okay. Right. Stick around right. for that.